When you want to make an audio set, a smaller audio set, in the 1 watt up to 2 watt range, this is a good concept to do. First, go to a shop where they sell second hand uh, electronics and buy two boxes, uh, preferably from wood. And in one of the box you mount the amplifier. This is the amplifier, stereo amplifier made with a chip, one part, and then the other box you build the power supply. Here you see how the power supply was made, and you see that the transformer is in a strange position. The reason is that the transformer adds hum, both mechanically and electromagnetically into the speaker. So an electromagnetic signal is induced from the transformer core into the speaker that's here, but also it gives mechanical hum. Uh, so you have to be aware from the situation that the transformer uh, must be moved in all directions inside uh, the second box. And then you must listen with your ear in the speaker, at the same time move um, the transformer uh, till the hum is not audible any longer. And then fix it with pieces of metal or silicon kit. That's one advice. The whole mini set looks quite nice, I think. This is one box from the set. And so two boxes. Here is the input. Pose a kinch socket here. And um, inside here you can connect your uh, MP3 pl player or your telephone um, to make um, to play your music. Two channels, left and right, only one LED. And here is the um, switch to switch the whole thing on. I don't mount the switch here inside because it can give too much complications. When I get some more detail, as long as my battery works, my battery from my camera, on the chip amplifier, here in the middle of the screen you see the chip. It is the this chip. These are the characteristics from the chip. Um, it is a LM, as far as I can see, LM1877 stereo chip. And here you see how I made the circuit. At first I made a drawing, and then the whole thing was mounted. I found a flaw when I made uh, the circuit exactly according to the schematic, um, and I, I used the base, um, the bass boost, uh, the whole chip gave a kind of wah-wah signal, so I had to limit the bass in this chip. Anyway, mount the chip uh, on a piece of wood, here is the cooling plate from the chip. It's thin copper, soldered to the right points on the chip, and then soldered here to the tin plate. Uh, this, this gives effective cooling. And here you have the aluminium front plate, easy to make. Then screw to that aluminium front plate a piece of tin plate here, and then mount your kinch sockets and other sockets. Solder them to the, the tin plate. You have a perfect earth uh, plate, earth connection. You don't have to bother a lot about one point, the, the principle of one point earth. That's always necessary in audio amplifiers because this here, this tin plate, is your ground plate. So in fact you can solder the wiring, all the minus wiring, 
the earth wiring to that template. And of course for the, the rest it's free building, free uh, regarding the position of the components. Of course not completely. The best thing is to follow the pin connections from the, the manufacturer and then you will see that you can make such a circuit, um, such a stereo chip in, in the proper way. Because one of the uh, chip is, has, is a kind of mirror. The left side and the right side are both one channel and they are in fact identical. That's the way the manufacturer uh, developed the chip. So in fact it's not very difficult. I use here um, brass nails and small pieces of wire, copper wire. And the potentiometers here, the, end, the, the, the volume control potentiometers are soldered on the tin plate. And when you do it this way there are no hum problems. Almost no hum problems or completely no hum problems. Again I found that uh, with this chip I didn't have to make a stabilized power supply. The chip itself has a kind of ripple rejection. So you can also do this uh, the way I made this, the concept, you can also use this concept for instance for an LM386 chip that's here. There are a lot of videos on the internet and on YouTube where uh, people uh, use the LM386 as a small amplifier. And in fact that's my second project. This is a bass boost uh, box in which I'm going to make uh, an LM386 amplifier according to exactly the same principles that I've showed in this video. So when you want to make a small audio set yourself, this is a good way to do it with um, a good uh, success ratio.